this conference actually shed light on this whole context that not all the information and not all the communities are visible. It gives us an opportunity though to bring our best data scientists from the government, from the academic, and from the business sides of the street to figure out how we can solve that problem. We forget that each data point is a person and it's a person's life. And for us to be respectful and mindful of that when we're talking about data and how we're going to use it, it's, it's really about the people who um, gave us those data. When this all started, the data being produced was mainly about incidence, survival, and mortality of cancer. But now we have data on uh, behaviors and clinical uh, aspects, and importantly, the social context on the environment, on uh, food insecurity, on housing problems, on transportation, on structural racism. When you listen to community, that provides context to the quantitative data you have. It's one thing to understand the tobacco use, the mortality rates, breast cancer screening rates in the community, vaccination rates, but it's another thing to understand medical mistrust and how communities prioritize what they do. Geography to me is not just about knowing like where are you on the map, but, but how you can use your, your knowledge of the, of the people around you and, the, and like the diversity and, and the science of each of the regions of the world to understand why, why people the way they are. We have some kind of predilection in academia for silos and that's not what we're about and that's not what the community needs from us. This conference is intended to bring all of those voices together. How do we collectively increase the impact of the cashment? What should we be looking at that we're not currently looking at? How should we ask the questions? Who should be at the table? Where is the community in all of this? Reshaping the conversation will require connecting with what people already know. Connecting with what people see and feel. People understand their communities. They understand the community or the people who live there and want to do more. But there's a gap between our assessment, our ability to structure tools and approaches. The health world is not using all of the technology that is available to them. If you just look at what you have and train and understand the capabilities of whatever software investments you've already made so that you make the most of them, that alone, without additional cost, would bring us about a more promising future. Being able to get a better hold on where cancer occurs in our catchment area will actually help us be able to reach out to the survivors and their families, uh, not only to get them into the proper care sooner, but also then to see the long-term effects actually then drive services to them. Our task as community outreach and engagement researchers and leaders, we really have to take large amounts of data distill them in ways that can enable us to precisely pinpoint where the opportunities for improvement are, and then mobilize what we know from the evidence base to start to change practice, to start to change policy. We have a vision. Dr. Wynn's the champion and he's moving us all forward, and Dr. Tosis is the boots on the ground, you know, with the troops rallying them. It needs that kind of rallying, clarion call, to all the other centers to bring them together. This is what happens when you have one team and one fight and we're bringing our best and brightest and our A-game to the table. We just want to say thank you so much for your attendance and participation in the conference. This has been a monumental week and we have been so excited and exhilarated to, for the knowledge that we've gained and for everything that we take home with us.